In this video we'll be solving quadratics. So here we're asked to solve c squared plus 9c plus 8 equals to 0. So by solving it we're going to get a value or values for c. So for solving quadratics one method is to factorize them. So we're going to factorize this quadratic to solve to find values for c. So c squared plus 9c plus 8 so we'll start by getting the guide number and that's the c squared coefficient which is 1 and the constant 8 so 1 times 8 is equal to 8 so next we write down the factors of 8 so 1 by 8 minus 1 by minus 8 2 by 4 minus 2 by minus 4 and they're the factors of 8 next we have to figure out which set of factors, when added together, will give us the middle number, i.e. the c coefficient, which is 9. So if we look at all the factors here, we can see 1 and 8. When we add them together, we get plus 9. So we'll use those two numbers. So what we do next is, we break up the 9c. So with c squared, instead of 9c, we use what we found in the previous step we we'll put in plus 1c plus 8c. So the reason we broke up the 9c into c plus 8c is so we could factorise by grouping. So we've got c squared plus c and we've 8c plus 8. So we'll factorise them. c squared and c, the common factor here is c. So c squared divided by c plus c divided by c. 8c plus 8, the common factor here is obviously 8. So we divide 8 into 8c and 8 here also. So next we complete our division. So we have c by c squared divided by c is just c. c divided by c is 1. Plus 8 by 8c divided by 8 is c. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So at this point we have a common factor with c by c plus 1 and with 8 by c plus 1 also. So c plus 1 the common factor. So we can break that up with c plus 8 in brackets by c plus 1 the common factor. At this point we've factorized our quadratic equation. So we have c plus 8 by c plus 1 equal to 0. What we have here is we have two numbers multiplied to give us zero. Whenever you have two numbers multiplied to give you zero, that means at least one of them must be equal to zero. So either c plus 8 equals zero, or c plus 1 equals zero. We can use these to get values for c. So c plus 8 is equal to zero. We want to get c on its own. So if we subtract 8, from both sides. C plus 8 minus 8 we'll just leave us with C. 0 minus 8 is minus 8. We get C equal to minus 8. C plus 1 on this side will take 1 from both sides so that we get C on its own. So plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're just left with C on this side. 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So here what we've done is we've found that c is equal to minus 8 or c is equal to minus 1. And that's our quadratic equation solved.